Hello, and thanks for stopping by the summit today here on Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am privileged today to get to visit with the head football coach at Dort, Coach Joel Penner. And coach, the defenders, you got a win against Jamestown on Saturday. It was a 66 to 13 victory, and it was a game that you were probably expected to win. Still, you went up and you took care of business. Yeah, thanks for having me today, Joey. I love talking football, so especially Dort football. So, uh, yeah, Saturday was a lot of fun. It was one of those rare mid-October days where we're near 80 degrees and uh, and warm and, and light winds. I mean, it was just an awesome day. And, uh, you know, we, we happened to play all right as well. So that was, that was a lot of fun. Well, you, again, you get a 66 to 13 win. You, you got out to a 41 to nothing lead about 25 minutes in, scoring six touchdowns before you allowed the Jimmies to get on the board. Junior quarterback Noah Clayberg, seven carries for 108 yards, and a rushing touchdown, but he wasn't done. He was 15 for 18 through the air, an 83% completion rate, oh, and 220 yards and four more touchdowns. He just uh, continues to lead your team well. You know, uh, he's, uh, he's a fun player to watch right now, and uh, anyone that knows uh, Dort football on offense, you always think about our running game, as you should. We've always been a, you know, top top three in the nation rushing program, but uh, – you know, Noah had uh, a whole lot of pass yards and a whole lot of touchdown throws in the first half before we we pulled him out of the game uh, on Saturday. And he's really just totally invested himself in becoming a complete quarterback. You know, he's uh, a lot of people may not know this, but he was a he was a safety at the University of Iowa before he came to Dort. And so, learning how to be a college quarterback uh, it just takes time. And so. I've never had a player commit himself, uh, you know, throughout an off season uh, just to learning the offense. And we're finally at a spot with Noah where I really believe, you know, you, you want this for every starting quarterback. You want him to, 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 to feel like the offense is his, you know, and, and uh, he's the offensive coordinator on the field. Uh, he understands the big picture, what we're trying to do. He gets the why behind each play. And so uh, it's really uh, fun to watch him continue to improve each week. Coach, I want to stay there for just, just a moment then and, and ask you this. How big is it to have a quarterback who can see the field also with uh, the mindset of someone in the secondary? Well, yeah, he's just got this complete grasp now um, on the offense. He commented to me, uh, it, it's, a, it's music to a coach's ear. Uh, you know, I coach the quarterback, so I get to work a lot with Noah. But he commented to me um, when we were watching film after uh, after our, our game against Northwestern, he said, um, you know, coach, it's such a good feeling to know before the ball snapped that this is a guaranteed winning play. And because of the way the defense is lined up and because of the way that play was going to unfold, he knew before the ball was snapped that we were in the right play and in the right the right position to to succeed. And so. Yeah, he's um, he's got that that big picture vision and um, t- tremendous leader on our team, um, tremendous athlete, obviously. But uh, he really makes our offense tick right now. Well, I know that has to be fun to hear. That <laughs> that has to be something that is really special for you. You were talking about the the running game and and what a big part of the Dork program that it is. Last season, second in the NAIA with rushing yards, three hundred twenty six point five rushing yards per game. And already again this season, so far in 2020, four games in, 300.3 rushing yards per game. Uh, That's just something big, and it's really amazing to think about to be able to put up that kind of yardage on the ground. You know, we really went into our season this year saying that if, if we, you know, let's say we average 20 to 50 more yards rushing per game, would that help us achieve our bigger team goals? And I I think the answer is no. Um, We knew that uh, for us to uh, take the next step as a program uh, on the field, that we were going to have to throw the ball better. And what's really fun for me is if how many top five uh, rushing programs in the country will you see that are throwing the ball as efficiently and as well as we are? You're not going to find a whole lot because you kind of have to you know, the age old belief is that you got to sell out to the run or sell out to the pass. And it's really hard to do both well. And, um, you know, if we can continue to improve and sharpen our run game as we have, and then also add 
250 yards passing a game. Now we've got really an unstoppable offense, and that's that's what we're going for. Well, you seem to be on your way there right now. We're speaking now with Coach Joel Penner from Dork in his fifth season with the Defenders. And, Coach, let's go ahead and, and we'll talk about that then. You know, that you've got a quarterback that – through 83% completion rate again on Saturday, and he's at about 67% for the season as a whole. That's pretty impressive in and of itself. But with with all the ground game that you have going on now, you have someone like Levi Jungling, who is an impressive athlete in his own right there, third in the NAIA in receptions per game. So it looks like that you're definitely headed down that path that you were talking about jungling with 7.3 receptions per game. That's just pretty impressive. You know, Levi has been uh, an all conference receiver um, every year. He's a senior this year. Uh, one of those kids you, you, you're excited for his future, but boy, you'd sure love to see him never graduate. Uh, you just, you want him around. He's a team captain. Um, and he's really, he's really been a huge part of our offense in the last uh, four seasons. Um, you know, he's a guy we say every week, you know, we got to get the ball to this guy. I don't think it's any secret in the conference, um, you know, who we're targeting in our passing game. And, you know, Jungling has a lot of carries, too. He had a rushing touchdown on Saturday. Um, we like to, you know, hand the ball off to him on sweeps and also on our pitch plays on the option game. So he's he's a versatile guy. He returns kicks and punts, and uh, he's been a real staple of our uh, production um, in these last four seasons. Coach, you, you are coming off a win this Saturday, but that's coming off a loss the Saturday before as the team seemed to rebound really well. It was a 48-40 setback against Northwestern the previous Saturday. And, you know, that's a program that just seems to have had Dort's number over the year. Haven't quite gotten over the hump there with them. However, uh, playing within 48-40 there of the Red Raiders, I, I know – you know, I don't know where you stand on moral victories, but uh, at least you did have something to be able to to draw from to go into the next week. How well did the kids respond? Well, you know, we've uh, kind of built a culture here. Um, we 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 uh, like anybody. We hate to lose. We we uh, we grieve a loss. Uh, we we take it hard, um, but we do so really really quickly. You know, by the time we were all in the building together on Monday. Uh, it was, all right, what do we got to learn? What do we got to do to get better? You know, and that's, that's uh, something we've worked really hard at. I, I hate to say it, but we had a lot of practice early on in those first couple of years, uh, losing football games and learning how to, how to, how to process that and how to re respond really, really well. So, um, you know, Northwestern's a great team, ton of uh, tradition and uh, it's one of those games you look at the stat sheet and you're just thinking, how on earth did we not win this game? You know, uh, but uh, as we've seen in in a lot of football games over the years, uh, stats aren't the measure of a win and a loss. It's it's points on the scoreboard and uh, hats off to them for uh, for outscoring us. They they had another score than us and, you know, they were perfect in the red zone and we didn't score once in the red zone. So there's your one score difference and really the story of the game. So. But I'm, I'm proud of our guys for just just the, uh, you know, every year we've had a better team than we had the year before. And that's that's something that's a testament to our coaching staff, um, the culture that's being built here, the recruiting efforts, the development of our players. And, uh, you know, if we continue that way, then uh, obviously it's going to it's going to continue to help us get to where we're trying to go. Well, you definitely you you put yourself in a good position at that point, and and I think that the numbers do bear out just exactly what you're saying, Coach. In your tenure there, and now in year five, uh, it, it's a program that really seems to be going that right direction, just year after year after year. You know, Coach, as we wrap up our time here, and again, I want to say thank you for for being here, and I want to ev encourage everyone: please do like and share this video. Please do subscribe to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. The G Pack is a it's a tough place to pick up wins in football. It really is. And it just doesn't seem to get much easier. I mean, you have the rest of the month of October. Uh, you you face Doan this coming Saturday, uh, another home game for you. And I suppose that's a positive right there. But uh, then the two Saturdays after that, I mean, you're going up against two undefeated teams, one in Concordia and then the other one, the two-time defending national champion in Morningside. So uh, talk about the rest of your schedule as you work your way through the month of October. You know, the GPAC uh, most years is uh... – you know, you're, you're not going to have a week off and uh, you got to come ready to play. I think we have 
Uh, in most seasons, we have a very, a very thick middle of quality teams. Uh, and, you know, the last couple of years, it's been one and two have been uh, steady and consistent. But, you know, three through six, three through seven have been anyone's game. And, um, you know, you, you just have to play well each week. And so um, it's fun the longer you're in a conference, uh, especially a conference like ours that seems to have such great continuity in the coaching staffs you really start to learn each other. And uh, it's almost like this, this uh, chess game that you, you have with, with the coaches. Cause you remember, Oh, well, two years ago, this worked and now they made these adjustments and, you know, you're always trying to find out what's going to, what, what is this year going to look like different than last year? And what, what will they have adjusted to stop whatever worked last year? And it makes it a lot of fun. It really sharpens our, us as coaches. Um, but we, you're right. We have a, a really nice stretch of home games here in the month of October uh, and then we know that there's some big battles uh, coming up. So, you know, as long as we continue to kind of live by the motto that we say here, the longer we play, the better we get. And if that remains true, then uh, I'm really excited about, um, you know, each week helping us to sharpen us and get us better. We know there's there's a, 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 a team on our schedule down the road that hadn't lost a game in a lot of years. And so uh, we have a lot of excitement about that opportunity to, try to crack that egg uh, later in the month. Well, coach, again, I, I, I can't say it in any differently. I, I believe you're on the right path, and I, I think that the evidence bears that out. So uh, the defenders looking to be a, a fun team to get to watch through the remainder of the month of October, 3-1 and one right now, and a big matchup against Doan again coming up on Saturday. Coach Joel Penner, thank you so much for taking time with us today on the Summit. Joey, thanks for having me on, and all the best to you and all you're, all you're doing with this broadcast. I appreciate it, and I appreciate everyone for watching as well. Again, please do like and share, and please do consider subscribing to the channel. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day.